Look, I'm a flathead. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> hey guys, what's up? Doing a little work on Falcor. We are upgrading the brake system today, and I thought I'd show you a little bit of the kit we got and kind of the plan we're going to do to attack it and uh, why we're replacing it. First off, we had copper lines. Did the job, but little to my knowledge did I know, uh, copper is a very bad oxidizer, especially when brake fluid is added to it, and it will corrode your shit and not work very properly. So, and the result, I had bungee brakes and uh, just not good. Uh, somehow the copper strips off the lining and gets in the brake fluid and once it reaches so many parts per million uh, it's just damaging all the way around so we bought a Speedway Motors kit and uh, we're gonna slap that bad boy on there here we go little, little whole kitarooski you got your long runs to your medium runs to your short runs you get three each you get two of your braided's 19 inch and I think 20 something. Uh, 26 inch. Your AN to 3 16 connectors. Your distribution blocks for the back end. You get three couplers. And yeah. But. <clears throat> ha! Looks so enthusiastic. <laughs> <laughs> I am. <laughs> but what we'll do is we'll uh, run the hard lines back to the back. Figure out what we're gonna do up front. Mount the uh, oh line lock. Running off my words there. But we gotta figure out where we're gonna mount this up on the firewall because the new master cylinders will come, will come out right here, and so we might mount this down off over here, off the side. I'm gonna get it off the fire or off the fender here because that way I can make the front clip removable. But then we'll get everything measured out and planned out, and I'll kind of rough it in, and then we'll show you guys. What we're gonna go from there, and uh, yeah, the basic idea that's what it will entail. So, we can we got the new Q1As on, but we'll get the routing all figured out here, and then I'll crawl up under there and show you. Little tip for you guys when you're bending your brake lines, don't forget to slide your other connector to the other end. I forgot. <laughs> All right, guys, check it out. We got them running. New lines running in, nice and clean. That Speedway kit makes it super easy to install. Junction block goes into left tire, right tire, kinks over right down the frame, falls it down. Oh, the creeper doesn't want to creep. And boom, we'll come out the front there where we're gonna hook into the master cylinders. But yeah, came out pretty clean, guys. Get you some Speedway motor kit. Brake line action. Thanks for quick, easy install. I ran that line, did all those bends within about 23 minutes. Boom. Look, I'm a flathead. <laughs> <laughs> all right we got the rest of the brake lines plumbed up until i realized i didn't have my fittings for right here so but we'll show you what we got bam runs up along the firewall nice and clean tucks down and over goes in here we'll run the next one over i gotta get my flaring tool so i can make a little brake line i ran out of shorties all i got is a long one left and then we'll run one right up into here for the front brakes this one here, Ching. runs right there, to right there, to the rear, and uh, yeah, bam, we got her. And uh, so yeah, we'll have some better stopping power this year because we're gonna go faster. We gotta stop better. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Yes, we do. All right, guys, take it easy. Once we get it all done and plumbed up, we'll uh, give it a little test and show you. All right, cool.